The Oculus Rift DK2 is a fantastic device, but one thing it's not fantastic for is navigating unoptimized 2D menus not designed for VR. Fear not though, because we've put together this guide on how to use OBS to mirror your screen, allowing you to navigate all those 2D menus on your monitor, and then simply slap your Oculus Rift on your face for the parts of the game that fully support it. First of all, you're going to need to download Open Broadcast Software from obsproject.com. It's completely free and it's utterly fantastic. Most people use it for recording videos or streaming live video game footage, but in this case, we're just going to use it to mirror one of our monitors. Okay, the first time you load OBS up, it should look a little something like this. Now on yours, you won't have all these scene presets because you haven't created them yet. Whereas I use OBS for all my recordings and these are all the settings I use. On yours it will just be blank with possibly the word scene at the top. Now before we get all sophisticated and create our own scene, first of all we need to change some settings. So go and head off over to the settings button at the top, click on it and open up the settings menu. Making sure you've got the general button highlighted, then go to settings profile and create a new one. You can call it anything you want, it's completely arbitrary but in this case we're going to call it DK2 Mirror. And then click add and that adds it as a setting profile. Now all this does is make sure that any settings you change are then locked into that profile, making it easy to then go to a different profile if for example you wanted to do live streaming or recording. But in this case we're just going to be doing a preview of what's on the other screen. So the only setting that we're going to want to change is in the advanced button so click on that and then you'll see it says disable encoding whilst previewing and we want to make sure that that is ticked. Now the reason we want that ticked is because if you disable encoding while previewing your computer doesn't really have to do anything other than display the mirrored image. So make sure that's ticked then slowly but surely work your way down to the apply button, click that and then click OK. Now that's all done, we need to add a scene and to do that you go to the scenes box, right click on it, click add scene and call it anything you desire. It's completely arbitrary but in this case we're going to call it DK2 Mirror. And then click OK and then you want to click on the sources. Now this is where it's actually going to get the image from so click add. Windows capture, nope we want monitor capture and then you can just leave it as monitor capture or call it anything you want. Click OK and that will add the monitor as a choosable source. In this case our DK2 is monitor 1 so I've got that selected and that's pretty much it for the monitor. You can just leave it on that or whatever your DK2 screen is. Click OK. We then need to also add a game capture source. So at the bottom there you go, left click on game capture and you could call it whatever you want again but we're just going to leave it as game capture and click OK. Once that's added you don't have to do anything to it, you just click OK and close that. And now we're going to go into the exciting part, the process where we actually launch a game using OBS to mirror the other screen and see what's on the DK2 in the fantastic land of 2D before we go to the 3D gameplay. So here we go, click on preview stream with the monitor capture selected and as you'll see it's popped up and it's now showing the what's on the Oculus Rift screen. Now you might be wondering why did we add monitor capture as well as game capture? Well monitor capture is just mirroring the monitor so you can see what's on the Oculus Rift if you're in Windows or if you're in a Windows based interface for example in a set of Corsa that interface is Windows based so you can see it on this monitor capture mode and there's some other games that will be like that as well. However, if your game is a typical full screen game like Project Cars, for example, you're going to need to double click on your game capture source whilst making sure it's selected and then find the game that you're launching from the application list. Just click it, make sure it's highlighted and then click OK. Now you can't see anything until you launch the game apart from the monitor capture which is on the layer below as you can see in the sources. But when you launch the game, it should load up and show the game that you've launched in OBS on your second monitor. Now sometimes there's some problems and you might have to load the game up, launch it, go backwards, double check that it's there, make sure it's not minimized and it can be a bit fiddly but for the most part this works with most titles. And that's all there is to it, it's quite simple really. 
Now it is a little bit hacky and as I say it doesn't always work but for me this has been my go-to way of accessing 2D game menus without having to peer through the Oculus Rift. Contrary to what your mother said, fiddling with it probably is the best thing to do in this case and eventually I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. However, if you do get stuck and you need to ask a question, just drop it in the comments. I, or someone that knows how to use it, I'm sure will answer you. If you're a little bit weird and you enjoyed the video, make sure you spread it around like butter on toast, subscribe to the channel and like our Facebook page.